Hello and welcome to At Home with Anita Rosner. It's the weekend, it's a cold day outside and COVID is still running around out there with his variant cousins. So I think it's a really good day to just stay home and make some leisurely comfort food. So today I'm going to show you how to make a delectable sweet onion galette. Our dough is now fully chilled. It's been in the fridge for over two hours. We're just gonna roll that out. Let me show you how I made this. Place the flour and rosemary in a food processor inserted with a grating disc. Grate in the butter and Gruyere. Replace the disc with a metal blade and pulse. Then pulse in your water and scrape down the sides. The mixture should look like breadcrumbs. Remove the blade and give it a pinch. If it holds together, it's ready to shape. If not, add a little more water. When it's ready, turn it out onto plastic wrap and gather it up. Press it and shape it and continue doing so until it forms a solid disc. Then refrigerate it for at least two hours. Peel and slice the onions. In a deep pot over medium heat, add the olive oil. I'm using my rosemary infused oil. Add the onions and sweat them for 20 to 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. After the onions become translucent, increase the heat to medium high and stir. The onions will begin to take on color. Once the onions are brown, return the heat to medium and add the sherry, sugar, balsamic vinegar, beef stock concentrate, and thyme. Taste and adjust your seasonings. Spread the onions out on a baking sheet to cool. The oven is preheating at 350, so we're just rolling this out to about, it's almost nine inches. It's not a perfect circle. It doesn't have to be because it's a galette, which is the beauty of it. Now, you don't have to make the dough in a food processor. You can grate the butter and the gruyere on a box grater and then just make it by hand. Simple. And the amount of water that you use depends on how dry your house is. Um, my house is pretty dry, so I needed three tablespoons of water. You might just need two. All right, let's fill her. Here are the caramelized onions that are completely cool now. They'll thicken up even more as they cool. Um, the remainder of the Gruyere and some more rosemary, as always. The full recipe with all of the amounts will be down in the description. So we're going to fill this and I want to leave about a two inch border around the outside. And you know, if you don't use all your filling, it's great on sandwiches or burgers. Very delicious. And you know what, if you don't feel like making the galette, just make the onions. They're amazing. They are amazing. I'm putting them all in. Yum. Okay. And 
now we just gather up the sides. Now you could egg wash this. I'm not gonna bother. The more rustic, the better. And now I'm just going to slide it on my sheet pan. Boop. And sprinkle it with a little more rosemary and the rest of the Gruyere. I'm gonna put some of the Gruyere on now, and then a little more during the baking. So let's put it in the oven. Bake for 45 minutes, then remove from the oven and sprinkle with the rest of the Gruyere. Return it to the oven and bake for 10 more minutes. Look at that, fresh out of the oven. It smells incredible. It's bubbly, it's cheesy, it's golden brown. You will love this. And it's the perfect thing to make on a lazy afternoon. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, become a subscriber, and leave me a comment. I respond to every single one and I love to hear from you. So join me again next time right here at home with Anita Rosner. Thanks for watching.